So if I were to ask you guys who you thought the top scorer in high school basketball would be, a lot of you guys would say Zion Williamson or RJ Barrett, some even Bo Bo. But the thing is, none of them are the top scorers in high school basketball. And the top scorer in high school basketball isn't even a senior, and he averaged over 50 points per game this year, which is absolutely insane. That player is Joe Girard III. So before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by St. Patrick's Day, which is March the 17th. We are currently about 2,000 off, so it's going to be really, really close. We've got just under two weeks left to hit it. And I know I said I was going to get a video out every second day. I did miss the one before this one, so I will try to get a video out tomorrow. And if you guys have any ideas for videos, please follow me on Instagram and send me a DM on there. I will read your message, and if I do use your idea for a video, I will give you a shout out. So anyway, now let's get on to the video. So Joe Girard III is a three-star recruit who's actually recently received a scholarship to play for Duke. And has offers from a lot of other Division I colleges as well, including BYU where Jim or Fredette played in college. A lot of you guys are probably watching him play and saying he's very like Jimmer, he's going to be the next Jimmer. And people have been calling him the next Jimmer since he was 10 years old, back when Jimmer mania was happening back in 2010, 2011. Joe Girard III was only 10 years old back then and was a national free throw champion for his age and people even back then were comparing him to Jimmer Fredette who was his idol. He ended up going to the same high school as Jimmer Fredette and absolutely smashed his high school points record. And right now with another year of high school basketball left to play, he's actually got the New York State record by over 400 points from second which is Lance Stevenson. Lance Stevenson is one of the best high school basketball players New York has ever seen and Joe Girard III has has scored 400 more points than Lance Stevenson and has only played three years of high school basketball. By the end of his fourth year, his record could be close to untouchable, especially if he goes and averages 50 points a game again next year. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering now why you've never heard of this guy before, why Joe Girard isn't spoken of as highly as players like Zion Williamson or RJ Barrett. The reason is that he's a 6'1", 6'2", two guard. He doesn't have really good playmaking skills either, so he does have to play off the ball an awful lot. He also isn't the most athletic and most flash player, although as you can see from this clip here, he's well able to get up and dunk. However, even with that, he's the best shooter in high school basketball and maybe the best shooter high school basketball has ever seen. As you can see from these clips, he is cash. Even with a hand in his face, this guy is cash. He's ranked outside the top 100 by almost every single scouting service, but at the same time, he was one of the six max prepped national player of the year finalists which shows how good a high school basketball player he is. Will he be an NBA prospect? That's tough to tell, especially because we haven't even seen him in college. One thing that I'm almost certain of is he's going to be a great player in college no matter where he ends up playing. One of the best shooters I've ever seen and will continue to be one of the best shooters in the NCAA. The problem is, is that it's just a different ball game at the NBA level. It's just, they're just different athletically and it's very difficult to see how a six foot two, two guard fits into a lot of NBA teams. There was a lot of really good guys in college, such as Brady Heaslip, who shot the lights out, who even shot the lights out in the G League, but just weren't able to cut it at the NBA level. I think there's a good chance that Joe Girard ends up like that. But honestly, we don't know. I think he's gonna have a great college career wherever he ends up, and he may end up having a career path somewhere similar to JC Carroll. If you don't know, JC Carroll's one of the best shooters in the world, one of the best shooters in college, was 6'3", not particularly athletic, and couldn't really play on the ball. And is currently starting and one of the best players for the Real Madrid team in Euroleague. So even next year, I think it's unlikely that you're gonna see many viral mixtapes of Joe Girard if you're gonna see him on a lot of people's top 100 list, if you're even gonna hear about him going to the NBA, because that's very unlikely. But as a pure high school basketball player, I honestly would take Joe Girard over almost anyone except maybe Zion Williamson or RJ Barrett. And honestly, I think his game will translate really well into college. I think he will be a great, great college shooter, probably will be a four-year player. Well, almost definitely will be a four-year player and will be a great four-year player at that. The thing is, I don't see him ever making it to the NBA. I just don't think his physical size, as well as the way he plays, will suit the NBA. But I do think he's gonna have a great professional basketball career if that's what he chooses to do. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.